Hello and welcome to Wikipedia Weekly Network in this show where Albin Larsson and I, Jan Einerly, are editing Wikidata Live. Hello, Albin. How are you doing? I'm doing very, very well. Has had a lovely start on Wikilabs Earth and so on mm -hmm. this week. And you, Jan, how are you? I'm good as well. It's a bit rainy here, but I managed to catch a little bit of a, a glimpse between the rainfall and got, got out, out a bit today, at least. Right. Yes, so now I'm ready to be indoors in front of the computer. <laughs> but right. What will you be editing today? I will be following up a bit on what you have done when you have made maps on Wikipedia. And because that requires like a connection between OpenStreetMap and Wikidata, I was thinking about improving upon that and actually making queries for nature reserves missing Wikidata tags in OpenStreetMap. Ooh. All right, so all right. We're trying to yes. improve the coverage there. All right, that's very good because I, I noticed uh, for the counties I was adding maps to or some municipalities that some of them didn't have a lot of coverage right. in, in OpenStreetMap. So of course that... And you, Jan, your plans? My plans today is to work a little bit on the World Red Cross and Red Crescent day item and things related today, because today is <laughs> World Red Cross and Red Crescent Day. So I thought right. that felt topical. And also that item was quite, uh, yeah, it, it needed some love and care. Uh, should I go ahead first, perhaps? Um, let's see. So we have this Wikipedia article which has some information. And if you didn't know it already, you have this link in the left to get to the Wikidata item. I already clicked on it here. And as we can see, we're actually, I'm, I'm going to start out adding the Swedish label for this because that's something that's good to have. And this is called we have a little bit of a different name in Swedish. We call it the international instead of world. I don't know why, but that's. Oops, spelling is still important. Are you missing an A as well? In the first word? International. Yes. Oh. Oop, that's a cue. And this is going to be a yearly. I think you got the same spelling mistake here. Yes. No, I think this is... You're missing a V, right? Yes. Oh, oh. yes. There. This one, well, it's going to look red, but that's better. Let's publish Indeed. that so we can actually easier find it. And let's see, we have only three statements on this. So we have the most important one, at least. We have the yeah. instance of World Day, and we also have uh, May 8th, which is a good one. It's not the best. I, we can probably improve this reference, but we're going to need a good source. And luckily, I, from the Wikipedia article, I found this good source. Uh, was this the one I wanted to no, know? This was the one I wanted. And this is very small, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. But in here, we have a few th good things. So we have both that it, it states somewhere here that it's um, always on May 8th, because that's the birthday of uh, Henry Dunant, who is the founder of the Red Cross movement. We also have the first start of it. We have who actually approved it, which means we know the organization behind this. Right. And we have a name change as well. So 
that's a that's a new thing we can yeah. add there we we haven't done before right so i'm going to start by uh, first making a good source here on this one so i'm going to edit this one i'm going to keep the reference i'm not removing it because it has a permanent link there but i'm going to add a better reference as well so this is going to be this one. Uh, we retrieved it today. And we're going to add an archive URL. I went ahead before here and actually archived this on the nice. internet archive. If I can find it in all the tabs, there I have it in. So here, can paste it. So that's a decent one. So we'll publish that. I wonder if you could, it doesn't really matter, but it would be nice to have the other one in top. <laughs> so, so this one I'm going to reuse a couple of times. And I, as you can see, I have this little thing uh, uh, for reusing references uh, and that's a thing you enable in your settings copy copy reference so i strongly encourage you to do that uh, actually i can show you it to that to you so i'll go to yeah. my preferences and then we have a lot of tabs but in the tab called gadgets we have duplicate references and this one is very handy especially when you find one good source that you want to use on the same item a number of times and i'm going to do it here so we have the may 8th and then we want to add i guess all right it uh, asks us for the inception so we're going to add that one and i have a short memory so i'll have a look here again it was May 8th, 1948. I can close out my preferences there. So that was the, the first time. And I'm going to add a few things before I add this reference so I can just copy and click it over and over and over quickly. And we'll have, I don't have an image yet. I'm a little bit not really sure what I would put at this main subject. So I'm going to wait with that one. If you have any good suggestions, please put it in the chat. The or Red Cross? Well, I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to add that that connection in some way, but I'm not sure right. I'm going to add it. So I, I want to have, do we have founded by? So, and that's going to be, and here's an interesting thing. And I, I like this because it showed a similarity with the Wikimedia movement. So there's one for the organization, which says it's the part of a movement. So like the Wikimedia right. movement and the Wikimedia foundation. And of course, in this case, it was actually the, um, we could see in the source, it said that the, this, the, for, the, the board of the Federation approved it. So we can add it here. So we'll have the same source for that as well. And we had, so this is on the anniversary of the birth of Henry de Nantes. So I think, and please uh, make your protest in the chat as well if you don't like this, but I think I'm gonna use the com I cannot spell, commemorates Yeah. for that. And I wonder if we have several Henry Dunants or just one. Ah, oh, easy. With good descriptions, it's easy. And then I was thinking about what else was I thinking about? Mm. We want to add, like we did 
uh, in a previous episode when we were working with the International Pol Polar Day that this happened yearly. So we have the event uh, interval. There we go. For example, year Q577. Thank you for that. So we'll go with uh, one here and unit year. And publish here. Let's. No, I can't really check that. No, it's not linked. All right. And then I was also thinking about. Uh, So I had a few other things similar to commemorates. So I'll go to commemorates and see what they were. Because I think I saw named yeah. after we could use. Indeed. Uh, and dedicated to perhaps as well. So we'll go with the named after here. This is actually a great trick when would you look for properties you might be able to add as well as using yeah. other tools as recoin just go to the property and look for this c also it's yeah. super useful yeah because sometimes you know there's uh, like they're similar uh, or or even also the opposite and you can also yeah. find them from the properties yeah and it is super great also to add things there quite often you go by what a property and see, oh, this should really be here because people using this property should also be aware of this. Yeah. So go ahead and edit properties as well. Yes. So so here I'm here I'm gonna go with the movement. Yeah. Instead. And then we have them both connected. And what else did we have here? Dedicated to I'm going I'm gonna go with the dedicated to the movement as well. Makes sense. A warning, a citation needed. All right, so let's see if we can use this as a, uh, I think this could be used as the source for that. Tokyo proposal. It's a weak, but I think it's it's a good enough source. It doesn't say it specifically, but it, that's sort of the yeah. spirit of this paragraph. So I'm going to use it. And then also, and now I remembered, uh, the name change. Right. So we, we had uh the red cross day as the original name so i'm gonna add here let's see official name or should it be title i think official name is better yeah i feel like I think title is for works of different kinds. Yeah. So we'll go with this, and this is in English. And then we'll have a start date here, and the start date is going to be start time, the same as uh, the first one, which was inception. Uh, right. Yeah. So that's going to be eighth May, nineteen forty-eight. Uh, and and then we had a. a it didn't say when it changed. It, it said it changed a number of times. And then oh. it said when it had the current name. So we, we have a, a indecisive thing in between. So I'm going to add an end time. And I'm going to say the unknown value here. So we don't know for sure when they stopped using this, because there was something else in between. But then we know when they started to use the current name. Right. 
And this, I'm also going to copy the same source here. So the weakest thing with this item is that we're relying quite a lot of a single source. So that's something that could be improved. I, I might have another thing, but not that much, actually. So that's a little bit of a weak. Uh, and then we had the current name, so I'll copy that from the over here. And add it. That's also in English. And that was from 84. And I wish they would have said if it's like, was the year 84 called that? <laughs> so, so I don't have a better precision here. So I'm not going to try to extrapolate or make something up myself. I'm just going to add it like that. And now this might, should have at least one reference. Right, so let's go to copy the references. I'm reloading the page. Uh, to make the gadget understand that there's a new thing that it can use. And we'll see where I where it went. I added one thing. Oh, so I added it over here. And I can now copy this and insert it here. I can insert it here. I can insert it there, there, I'll insert it on both of these, whoop, no, no, that was twice on the same, ah, uh, I'll, I'll, no, let's do an undo for that, so I'll go to history here, Sometimes you can just delete it, but I just want to show you that in the history, we can see all of the edits and there is a simple uh, undo button here. So I'll just click that undo. It'll show you, do you want to remove this again? And I'll see accidentally duplicated. And now I'm going to need to copy my reference again. Let's see if it can load it. There we go. Copy. And insert. And was that all? Oh, no, also the inception. All right. I think that was most of the things from here. Now let's see if we go to the main page of their web page, if they're sort of redirect to some uh, official website for this day. It should be on the main page today, one would guess. Indeed. Doesn't seem like that. Oh, uh, but they, they had a blog there. They do have a blog. It Maybe. might be also under what we do. So here's the blog. Nothing published today. No, so let's go, let's go back to up here and see if we can find anything in the nothing in what we do, nothing in where we work, nothing in who we are. So I, I would say like if they have one, <laughs> they hit it well. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, we, we do have something else though, uh, social media wise. I, I noticed there there are two official hashtags that actually Twitter also adds a special symbol for. Right. So for the hashtag, uh, do not include the uh, bracket symbol there. 
with a hash symbol. And that was just red cross day. And if you use that on Twitter and actually add it hospital or something afterwards. Uh, but that's, of course, only half of it. So they, and I, I'm guessing the hashtag was very, very long if you try to add it all in one because it's a long title. And then also the other one was a red crescent day. All right. Nice. A bit of a more data to or, or calendar. Yeah. Yes. But your calendar is also using uh, the, the main theme, I guess. And we didn't really capture it here yet. It um, uses main subject, but I think it should. Yeah, main subject. Yeah. A, a better version of it should probably fall back to the uh, commemorates. Yeah, commemorates, yes. Yeah. Because I've seen it quite used as well for, yeah. for world days in general. Yeah. Or, or co combination of them, at yeah. least. That could be something. I wonder this, uh, well, let's see. They're, they, they were talking about a conference here, 15 International Conference in Tokyo. I, I wonder if we can find that as an item here. Let's do a search. We didn't get an exact. Aha, there it is. Nice. So this was, so, so at the, as the source said, there was a, a proposal in this one that led to it. So I'm going to add this as um, some of these uh, cause things, but not the has cause. I think this will be the a contributing factor or contributing right. factor. There, there isn't enough, there isn't anything for actual proposals. What? There isn't a property for actual proposals. Propose that or something like that. Propose stated in no. Oh, the the last one. No, no, no. Theorized no. objective or project or action. I, I think we can do the opposite. So, so I'm gonna. So here I'm gonna do. Uh, uh, this is gonna be nice. Uh, uh, contributing factor of. No, has contributing factor. That is the one. Right. And then it's going to say, or it might say it could also be the other way around. And I think I want to add it there. So we're going to say here. Uh, helps to spell. like that. So this one led to this, but nice. not directly. It contributed to it. So now we also got a connection from some, somewhere else. So question is, can we add it from here as well? No, I don't think so. I think it's only this direction we have. Yeah. Yeah, but it makes sense. Yep. So that's a good start. Let's take a brief look at uh, the Federation itself. Uh, it's missing a description in Swedish. I think I'll just be very inspired by the, the English, one. English one. You can see sometimes it's very similar. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> and we have an instance of the most important one. All right, very nice with the part of the movement thing. And we have an inception date, field of work, good. Yeah, we can see this has changed name as well. Well documented. Oh, short name. 
did we see any short name for the for the day? No. Did it say anything else in the article? No. Here we can see they have had themes for a number of years, but for that we would I would say we would need to have um, items for each specific yeah. year, which we could have, I guess. So head back to over here, founded by chairperson, secretary general. I still haven't figured out how to do with these global events. What What's the right way to do it? Um, yeah, so what's someone, the right way to indicate that they are international? Yeah. So if someone has any ideas on that or an example item, we could look at you know, how it's been modeled. Yeah. That would be very nice. Yeah, at some point we're gonna need to ask the question in a forum or something. <laughs> yeah. Award received. All right, interesting. Budget street address, yes. Social media as parts. So, oh, and this is gonna be a long list, I guess. Indeed. That's why the item was so heavy to load. Right, identifiers. Let's see if at least the social media identifiers here. We have a Facebook ID, LinkedIn. TikTok and Twitter, all right. YouTube as well. So no Instagram here. So let's see if what if they so in the top here, we can see they actually have an Instagram account. So uh, let's see if I can just copy that link and go to the item and let's press A to add Instagram username and just paste the entire thing. And then this handle little script uh, that moves. Nice. And we can also see here, what else did they have? So dun, 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 dun. what's this? Oh, that's the TikTok thing. Of course, I didn't recognize that. That they did me. <laughs> oh, and here's an uh, interesting thing. So it seems to have the official website in a number of languages. So let's go to the main page. Uh, I'm at the media. Is this really the main page? Or did I? This it is the main page. Right. Yes. If I remove the EN here, let's see, where do I end up then? So it's still English. So we can, let's check the official website here. And of three Fs official. Next one website so we had the english oh oh that this, is not this is not the best thing because the no. machine wouldn't really have the ability to figure this out so we're gonna fix this a little bit so we're gonna figure out what the url is for the french one um let's see no wait not on this page this page again getting confused so let's see Oh, and even more they have. So it's just slash fr. So let's go here. I'll, I'll add them first and then I'll remove. So we'll go with this. It's going to want the language of work. French. And we can publish that. And then we'll see the Spanish one. It's at least very predictable. That's Indeed. good. So we'll go with that. And language of work. And that's going to be Spanish. And with those two added, I can clean up this one. 
and remove these. And now suddenly you could build an app and ask for one and be sure that you got the right. Uh, we get it. It's also on the International Committee of the Red Cross. It's uh, probably wrong done over the committee. Wait, which act am I on? International Federation of the... No, this actually says like the committee at the yeah, top. Let's see. If I... Do, am I mixing things up here? Yes, IFRC. They aren't making it easy. Oh, so that's the one that redirects to the media thing. All right. Oh. So I was at the right place. All right. So let's see then. So I'll go for the French again. So very useful with the con um, constraints and the warnings. Yeah. Yeah. Great so example. Here we have it. Here. Very different pattern. So let's see. So this one I need to correct. And then we'll we'll guess it's just <laughs> it's, it's just gonna be ES in the end for this one. Uh, did I yes, there we go. All right. Oop. Could not save the attorney. Do not delete or replace the former URL. But I added it wrongly. Yeah, I think you need to remove the entire statement. It said do not remove. Let's see if I can remove. All right. Yeah, I think you can actually always remove it. Just pretend satisfied. Oh, but now let's go with the French then. French. All right. So that's a, a way to stop spammers, I guess, and, and also live streamers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably very useful. In, in It's probably there for a reason. Yes. I, I, well, let's see if I do get the same here. I should. Oh. Oh, this worked, but now this says something else. Okay. Is this now? Uh, I'm going to reload and see if it actually. Yeah. It appeared twice there as well. It seemed a little. Yeah. Long. Yes. So it could be. In, let's see. Where did we? Uh, I'm going to search your official name and website so i still have something here so let's see what this yeah. one actually says because it shouldn't go there <laughs> language website. There is one correct at least. It isn't there. Uh, no, it, it seems to be remembering. Yeah. It, I, yeah. So, so something strange going on here in the in the in the constraints. Yeah, it doesn't it, seem to be in sync uh, behind the scenes. No. But we I also saw that we had the, the Arabic. Yes. So let's let's add that as well. If it loads here, it's going to the AR. Very nice. And now let's put it on the right item here. Language. AR. Arabic. All right. So I think that will 
do for me for today. So we managed to uh, improve this item a lot, connect it a little bit with other items, and clean up the organization thing. So uh, I'm not sure if you say happy world Red Cross and Red Crescent Day, but yeah. <laughs> Nice. And I'm going to keep a bit more related to actually Wikilove's Earth. So I think it was two episodes ago, Jan showed you how to create articles like this one or create maps in articles. This is a list article. And we can see that this is about nature reserves and that it actually pulls in the geometries like this. But it only does this if it, the Wikidata item is connected to OpenStreetMap from the OpenStreetMap side. So I'm thinking because we doesn't have full coverage of nature reserves, I thought I would use that as a use case to show you how you can find items that are missing Wikidata tags there. Um, and for this, we actually have a great tool on the OpenStreetMap side. You can mm -hmm. think of it a little bit like uh, like VDQS put for OpenStreetMap and without SparkQL, but with their own custom thing. All right. So, um, so essentially, let's zoom in here. We had about this region here. So I'm going to just put that in focus. And now we want nature reserves in OpenStreetMap that are missing a Wikidata tag, because that's essentially what we want to identify. Mm. And to do this, we first need to think about the data types in OpenStreetMap. So OpenStreetMap has three different data types, I'm pretty sure. I'm a little rusty on this, so please correct me if I'm wrong. But it has a node, which is just a point. Then it has a way, which is a line. It might be a line that's connected. And it has a relation, which connects nodes, ways, uh, and so on. And most Nature reserves in Sweden, I'm pretty sure, always have their metadata, so to say, on the relation. Um, I think there might be a couple of historical cases where there, there is on a way, so on the actual line making the, the region. So let's first start here with what we want. I want to start with getting, I want to tell Upes overpass turbo, as it's called here, that I want relations. And I used to do that with relation, but then I also want to say, I want nature reserves. And you say that within a tag called leisure. Let's see if I can spell. I think that's it. And you do, and now we want to say that this should be stating that it's a nature reserve. And I think it's just like this, nature underscore reserve. Can you zoom in a bit? I don't really see the, yes. all ah, right, there we see go. That the evil well. sign, yes. Exactly, so we want a tag that's leisure, that's set to nature reserve. And I can actually pull up OpenStreetMap just to Show you how this looks like, what we're looking for. Oh, I'm just in front of a nature reserve. Perfect. So I'm going to go edit here. I'm signed into OpenStreetMap. And I'm just going to select this nature reserve to illustrate what the data looks like that we're querying. So here we can see that we're on a line or a way. But it's also a relation here, nature reserve. So I'm going to click that one. And we can see that it has a bunch of tags and different values. This one also happens to have a Wikidata tag, but it also have this leisure nature service one. So essentially what we want to get is items that has this tag, but are missing this one. So, and I, and I think there's a trick where, where, where you don't need to actually go edit. So if you yeah. get out from there, you have a little uh, question mark. Exactly, in the Query bottom. features. And you can just click on something that you think is, and it will Let's see. try to figure out what is yes. there. It actually finds this yeah. nature server. And you can actually see the tags here as well. Yeah. 
now you cannot <laughs> you, you're gonna need to edit if you want to add the wikidata thing but yeah. yes right but to illustrate the data here's what we got um heading back over to OpenStreetMap turbo so Now we want to select nature reserves. I'm just gonna select nature reserves to begin with. We're gonna do the looking for ones without Wikidata in a while. We want to query this within a specific area. And this opens or overpass turbo tool has a great feature that just says, do it within the bounding box on the other half of your screen. And I think that's super helpful. And you actually just do a bit of a shortcut where you say, BB box, bonding box. And then we need to tell uh, this tool to out center because I actually don't care about geometry. I care about like the center point which I can click and see the data. So hopefully this will do the trick. So we want relations. We want them to have the tag lecture set to nature sir. And we want to get this data within this bounding box. I can see here on the map actually that we've got a couple of nature reserves. So it should give us some data. I'm gonna click run. We got a couple of ones. This one was the one we just looked at um, in OpenStreetMap. We can see that it has this Wikidata ID. But I also see that we're actually missing a couple of ones. I happen to know that there's one here, that there's one here um and so on so i think we will need to actually duplicate this but also ask for way because there's more than one data type so let's try that out now we're asking for both relations and ways see if that gets us more results yes so there we got another couple of results um for example, here we have one, which also have a Wikidata item. That actually is a way and not a relation. So good to capture that as well. However, now we got this idea that we are actually not interested in nature search. We, we especially want to find the ones without a Wikidata tag so we can add it. And then this is like, Sparkle, and we just type the statements we're looking for. So the exclamation mark here says that this should not be the case. So if I would type it here, it would say this should not be the case. Select always that doesn't have this. Here we just say Wikidata because the Wikidata tag is called Wikidata. But we doesn't give it like a value here. We just leave it like that. And I'm going to need to duplicate this to the relation down here. And this should actually do the trick. Let's see if there is anything in this region here that doesn't have one. Oh, we got a parse error. That's great. It means we got, need to fix something. Um, an error occurred. Yes. It seems like we are missing a wing here bracket let's run that again yes and we actually got one that doesn't have a, a wikidata tag it's mm. it's actually a lovely one um, snake sea mountain <laughs> snake sea mountain <laughs> indeed uh, i think it's very well known to have very old scots pine mm -hmm. um, Okay, but we can actually use this link here when we click on it to go to OpenStreetMap, like this. Um, so let's pick the name here and head over to Wikidata. I'm just gonna search in Wikidata like that. Oh, that's interesting. So, in Sweden, we should have all nature reserves and all 
That's uh, very because easy. because they are all in all in Wikipedia. Yes. So it might be that this is not its actual official name then. Which is a bit, a little bit harder. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna start by changing. Uh, ah. So I used changing the form from being the specific mountain to being uh, without any specification. So it, it shows up here. I'm pretty sure this is one. We can go into it to have a look. And let's see the map. Yes, it's, it's that one. So I can be sure that this is the same. I can just double check that as well on Wikipedia. Yeah. So I can go back to OpenStreetMap, not that OpenStreetMap, the other one here. And I'm gonna go to edit and I'm gonna correct both the, the name. Big, instead of B, the specific one, it's in in plural. Yep. And here I'm gonna say data. Great. And just put the Q ID. Having done that, I actually have the same button up here. And it says how many changes I have done. It says that you have done one change. And when it says that, it means I have done one change to like one geometry or one. So it's good to check that in case you do something by mistake. It's very easy just to move a node or something. I'm going to click that and I'm going to say Wikidata tag. Um, the, it adds a couple of sources here by default um, because it notes that I have this background on. I have not really been able to sh remove this, so to say. So it says that the source for this is what my background. Um, I haven't been able to fix that in once in a time we could, but I don't know how to do it anymore. But we're going to need to live with that. Yeah. It's not a big deal for Wikidata tags because obviously you can't get that information from the satellite image. Not yet. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> right. So if we go back to this map, so it happens to know that it, this one should have appeared in this one. So it should have appeared. Let's see. It should have appeared here. But you can see we don't doesn't have the geometry like we have here, here, and mm -hmm. here. I think we got an image. Or yes. Uh, but now waiting a while, why Wikimedia Foundation picks up this update? It can take several weeks. But once it's done, it will actually display here. So this is something we we just need to do for a lot of areas. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna head back over to OpenStreetMap Turbo. Uh, first, I actually gonna share this query with you in case you want to play with it. And you can do this for things that aren't nature reserves. I'm just using this as an example. I think it's very useful now when we are in Wikilabs Earth times, so to say. But I'm going to zoom out a little bit and see just if we can get a bit more coverage. We just got one there, but I imagine there is more missing. So I'm going to click Run here. and. The larger areas you take, the more likely it is essentially to uh, time out, similar to how the mm. Wikidata Spark LM point can time out. But I think this makes sense because I don't think it should be that many that are missing. So let's see. So it's, oh, Ooh. that's that's a lot. That's that was a lot many. more than I was thinking. Yeah. So um. I want to zoom in on some of those that are very close to each other. All right. Yeah, because here I imagine, yeah, you here you can see a bit of the things we, we do best map. 
here we got a, a way that's mm -hmm. a nature reserve, but it's technically the same nature reserves as this one, but it's a different geometry. Mm -hmm. And here it's also a way and not a relation. So we are actually missing a relation for this. So the data is duplicated. Yep. Uh, so you would need to create a relation for this and kind of merge them while keeping the two different geometries. I'm going to skip that for today. It would be a little bit in depth. Yeah. But I think I'm going to need less strongly agree. Exactly. It should be a relationship. I think Jan and I, we, we modeled roads this way in Visp a couple of years ago. Uh, similarly, that they sometimes connect to different ways. Yeah. Uh, but here we got a, a basic one. It's just uh, just a simple geometry. And we should very much be able to add the Wikidata item here. I actually gonna go to the switch Wikipedia to find it and head over using the Wikidata object link. I just gonna copy the QID. Here we got geometry, I'm gonna click edit. Actually, because I was on that like ID of the geometry as well, it's just pre-selected for me. And I just gonna take Wikidata, put the QID in here and click save. Wikidata tag, it remembers what I typed. and it should update. And let's head back to this item actually. We can see that it got this Wikidata item. It's even linked to the Wikidata items. We can click that and verify it. So that's very nice. Now this as well will one day appear in, in Wikimedia maps. So to say, right. And I think that's pretty much the workflow I wanted to show you. And as I said, I doing this for nature reserves, but you can do it for just about everything with this or pass turbo tool. It has a help section here and over at the open street map wiki, it has a bunch of examples. Actually a bunch of them also relates to Wikidata is specifically like finding duplicate Wikidata tags and things like that. So this is a great tool, um, especially now when we have Wikimedia maps. Yeah, and Nicholas also says the wizard button is good. Oh, right. So we should all actually be able to say like, let's share if I could spell that. I couldn't. <laughs> Nature Right, and then it actually picks up the node the way all of the relation. Right. Right. That's very nice of it. Uh, and then I imagine I could type something there to say not Wikidata. That's a great trick. Thank you, Nicholas. Um with that being shown. Uh, we have been working on something else that's completely unrelated to this because I think we did it this week. We put together a table of all the various episodes we have been doing of live Wikidata editing. Uh, we have been doing it for over a year. And recently, both Jan and I has gone through all of the videos to essentially make a list of them as well as tag them on YouTube with, with what we are talking about and so on. Yeah, so and all old episodes have like these YouTube chapter market markers. Yeah. So you can jump exactly to when we start talking about something. Exactly. And there you got short link to this table. And this is a table that's open for everyone to edit. Uh, we we have made kind of small descriptions about what it's about. If you want to improve upon them, feel free.
but this is should make it super easy to find things. I have done it a couple of times myself. For example, if I want to get all episodes in which we use quick statements, I can simply say, we search here for quick sta statements and we should be able to go through them here because they kind of have this tag way. Similarly to Craggle, I think it's a tool we've used a lot of times, mm -hmm. but also a bit of other topics like uh, Earth Hour or Polar Bear Day and so on. And they should be kind of structured the same ways. If we have talked about lexemes more than once, they are usually just called lexemes. So mm -hmm. it's very easy to find what we have done here and when. Uh, I've used it myself, as I said, and I hope it would be useful for everyone else. Yeah. And, and, and some things that might be could could be added if you like is to like all the links for the queries that we create or something exactly. like that or the resources well, feel free to add them uh, if, if yeah. you think they are useful for you they're probably useful for someone else as well so uh, indeed and feel free to even if you don't want to edit but have a suggestion feel free to to say to us or to create a topic about it on the discussion page yeah. because maybe it's easier than than it seems Yes. And with that, I feel like I'm done. All right. So we get to see some hands on manual editing and a very powerful tool that is indirectly improving Wikimedia services. Indeed. But, yeah. So we're editing somewhere else, but it shows up in all various yeah. places. <laughs> the power of open knowledge ecosystems. Yeah. And uh, I'll let's uh, say bye for now and see you next Saturday. See you next Saturday.